page, take Mr. and Mrs. Courtney to room 603, the honeymoon suite. You'll send your breakfast up on Wednesday, sir. Good evening, sir. Good, e good evening, good evening. No, My name here, is Sherlock sir, Holmes. Sir, over yes. here. Hey, hey, hey. Thank oh, you. Oh, Thank sorry. You. Thank you. My name is Sherlock. Sherlock Holmes. You'll have to excuse the Irish accent. I'm in disguise. I believe Dr. Watson and my housekeeper are waiting for me in the Edwardian suite. <laughs> I'm sorry I kept you two waiting. Exactly 12 and a half minutes, Holmes. And your laundry's on the boil at home, Holmes. If we're not home soon, your long jaws are going to be shrunk right down to your jockey shop. We are here, Mrs. Hudson, to try and find the missing dustbin. Already, I know, it's been here in this very room. On this carpet are traces of a micro-organ... Uh, of a micro-organism which is alien to the atmosphere in this room. Also, if you notice this picture here, the gold chain worn by the man in that... <laughs> that uh, picture has uh, started to tarnish. I learned all this at school, you know. Amazing, Holmes. What school was that? Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> or should I say, Moriarty? <gasps> What? You can't fool me with that disguise. <laughs> Where have you hidden the dustbin? You'll never get it, Holmes. But what you will get is a deadly shot of hydrochloric acid from this cunningly disguised hypodermic shotgun. Ha! <laughs> and ha! Again! It makes no difference to me. I'm wearing a special protective vest that's filled up with a special substance called... <laughs> through which no acid can penetrate. We'll see about that. Ha! Mr. Holmes, Mr. Holmes! There's something I must tell you. Your protective vest in the laundry at home being boiled. <laughs> 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 Mrs. 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 Hudson! Yes, Mr. Holmes! You're fired! <laughs> Here from the last scene, we have, um, we, what's your hello, name? Hello, hello, yes. Your My name, name <laughs> is Mike Newman. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Mike, this, what are you leaving for the listen, um, How are you? How are you? Lovely. I'm leaving this uh, magnifying glass here. That's the, the MacGuffin. Uh, I have a rhyme as I well. I have a rhyme, yes. <laughs> here we go. Listen to this now. We'd like all good homes to have one in one of its colorful guises. The ones in my street aren't nearly so neat as this one of our special prizes. Ta da! There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Sherlock Holmes. See we'll you, see sir. you in a bit, Take Mike. Care. Okay. Here we go, boy. Here we go, boy. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Heel, 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 heel. Stand, stand, stand. Don't move now. Now then, we're having an identity parade to try and find out this uh, uh, dustbin stealer. So uh, I think now, can you come out here, please? Can you stand there? Thank you. I think I'll change you around now. It's a bit obvious, I think. Perhaps you change places with him. That's quite nice. Can you go down that end quickly? Down that end. One, two, one, two, one. Excellent. Now then, we have a lady coming in now to pick out uh, the dustbin stealer. Uh, now, madam, can you step this way, please? <laughs> oh. Can I say it? Hello, Bobby. <laughs> Here, you can frisk me any time you like. Now, madam, I want you to pick out a man. You do nicely. I love them big and strong. Not me, madam, not me. One of these men here. Oh, well, it's, it's very difficult, isn't it? I mean, they all look so alike. <laughs> it was him. Oh, uh, him. I'm ready. I'll go to court and swear it was him. No, no, she's lying. Hmm? She is lying. She's no, lying. No, no. She's lying. Would she... I lie about my future bridegroom? <laughs> Future bridegroom? I, I've never seen you before in my life. Why should you want to marry me? Because a wife can't testify against her husband. Here, I got my last three husbands at these identity parades. <laughs> Come on, lover boy. We might just get the registry office before it closes. <laughs> Kippers. Mistake! 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 Of course, the sardine is an Irish fish, you know. Oh, yes. I mean, you think about it. What other animal would lock himself in a tin and then leave the key on the outside? <laughs> well done! Hello, 
mistake. Sorry about that, old son. Now tell me, for two pounds, can you give me the nationality of Napoleon? Of course he can. Correct. Oh, oh, excuse me. Mistake, mistake. Mistake, mistake. 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 Oh, mistake. <laughs> Actually, I went to a Chinese takeaway last week. I wanted to get some cigarettes, and I asked a fellow for 20 number six, and he brought me 17 stone of chicken chow mein. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes? I've, I've come to join the Navy, sir. Very good. Can you swim? What's the matter? Haven't you got any ships? Hey. From prime numbers to prime ministers, Mr. Callahan addresses a Ford Union meeting. Brothers? I know you're all a bit upset about my 5% limit, but I've got a new deal for you. In future, you'll only work on a Wednesday. What? Every Wednesday? <laughs> the fellow goes into a shoe shop. He says to the woman, I'd like one Wellington boot. Take that one Wellington boot? What do you want one Wellington boot for? He says, well, I'm starting a new job in the morning, and the foreman says I'll be working in one foot of water. <laughs> Swinging in the rain, scene five, take three, two, one. Lights, cameras, action! Darling. Cut! Magnificent! <laughs> Magnificent! You did that wonderfully well. We'll shoot Lena scene now. I'm looking forward to this Lena Lamont. The great star of the silent screen, making her... Ooh, <laughs> making her very first talking picture with me. The greatest director in the world, Cecil B. De Millard. I shall be even greater in sound than she ever was. And the... <laughs> the silent screen. Scene six, take one. Action! Darling, run away with me tonight. Say you'll be mine. You know I will, that I'll know my life hasn't been all in vain for nothing. Cut! Cut! Magnificent! You did that so well! You did it so well! What do we do now? I know what we do! We mime it! We mime it! That's what we do! Get the great ideas! We mime it! We put the voices in later! Uh, we're, we're ready when... For the action! For the action! Get on with it! Darling! <laughs> Darling! Cut! Cut! It, it, it will have to do. We'll have to get someone else to do the voices. These stupid actors. Why can't we get the soldiers to play these parts? Oh, Scene six, take three. Say you'll be mine. You know I will. Then I'll know my life hasn't been all in vain for nothing. But do you really love me? Are you sure I'm the one? Of course I am. I know you're the one for me. Then I'll come with you. You're so handsome, strong, and virile. And you're so feminine and beautiful. How could I refuse? Cut! Cut! I've had enough of this! I have my whip, and it's my camera! I'm going back to Greta Gabo! All right, and here from the last scene, we have the crazy director. Would you come in here? This will be the Millard. Now, you have... Does it stop the talking? You are talking too much. Mein Herr, I swear to this dame schreiben. Österreichisch mir donald damsche fat gesellschaft is kneiper earned when schlees and schneisen hits and schlitz and haven with smorgas bolt and schneisen hees and hoos and engelbert hamperding. Daddy! <laughs> What are you leaving for Steve and Jackie now, and listen, the Shuffin? I'm not leaving the, the whip, actually. I'm leaving that there. The eye shade you're leaving? the eye shade, yes. And you've got a rhyme for them, too. And I have a rhyme, yes. Somewhere oh. in here there's a rhyme. <clears throat> now then, this is where the tricky bit comes in. I can read reading, but I can't read writing. <laughs> are you ready for this? Yeah. If you're going to travel a fair way or just about any distance, alone or with a club, but please, not to the pub, this prize will give you assistance. Thank you. OK, Mike, thank you very much indeed. I will see you later. There are ways and means of seeing you later. <laughs> right, does that mean anything to you, Steve? Yes, star at our Hollywood premiere. 
Well, here we are at Sunset Boulevard, the street of a thousand stars, and they're all here tonight for the premiere of Metro's biggest and greatest picture. Hi there, Good. Will. Remember me? Hey, is that your nose? Are you eating a banana? <laughs> hey, talking of bananas, here's Carmen Miranda. Carmen is wearing a grapefruit salad, oranges, apples, and a lovely pear. Hey, did you bring Jack Lemon? <laughs> I can't get in there. Every time I go through the door, some dame tears up my ticket. Marvelous. And here comes Elizabeth Taylor and James Cagney. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Oh. Mm. Well, Ball, top of the world. Mm. And now one of the truly great stars, Miss Marilyn Monroe. Miss Monroe, would you like to say a few words? Oh, I sure would. Hello. Marvelous. Could I have your autograph? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, that's an autograph? I should have asked for a signed photo. <laughs> and now someone who has truly always been associated with this great studio. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. <laughs> Well, that's wonderful. That gives me a sore throat doing that, you know. That's wonderful. You truly are a great star, a legend in your own lifetime. Oh, tell Jen Paris. <laughs> tell me now, how did you get into the pictures? I bought a ticket. Oh. <laughs> but right now, are you with me? Yes, yes. I, right now, I am doing my greatest role, and the please and the lie. Oh, marvelous. What part do you play? Are you working him as well? <laughs> Look, in this picture, I am a ferocious beast. I get a thorn in my foot, and Ruklees takes it out. And then years later, he's... Are you following the plot? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Years later, he's in the arena. This lion comes up to him, stops, looks, and then it eats him all up. Oh, and why? It wasn't me, it was my cousin Percy. <laughs> This is it, kids. We've got 24 hours to put on the greatest show this town has ever seen. 24 hours to show them we can do it. We're going to work, work, work until we drop, and then we're going to work some more. You know why? Because we're backing the greatest dancing star that Hollywood's ever seen. Mr. Barkley. The lady Bar with the dancing feet. Mr. Barkley, Mr. Mr. Barkley, I can't go on. What's happened? I fell off a trail. Oh, my God. This is it, kid. This is your big chance. This is it now. You're going to go onto that stage and chorus, girl. You're going to come back a star. You know why? Because we're all depending on you. All the little people, the people who park the cars, the people who sell the tickets, the people who show people to the seats. We're all depending on you, and you can do it. But, but, I, I can't. I, no buts, kid. You can do it. Get in and do it. One, two, three. Uh, Debbie Arnold. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Can you give me a gag with a word ending in ain, sir? Ain? Ain? A pain. That'll do. Pain. I've got a friend in Dublin, and last week he replaced 165 pains in his greenhouse. And then he discovered his glasses were cracked. <laughs> sir, sir, yes, yes, sir. Yes, I'm yes. doing this crossword, oh, sir. Yeah. And I'm stuck on one word, sir. Oh, the word, the word, the word, the word is toast. Toast. Toast? How do you get that, sir? Well, look at the clue, look. Two egg on. Oh, yes. Now, <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Arnold. That's a funny name for a girl. Arnold, can you give me a word ending in, um, A-N-T? A-N-T. Right. This guy walks into a fishmonger's. He says, can I have a, a cod's head for my cat? And the fishmonger says, sorry, we don't do transplants. <laughs> hey, Debbie. Debbie, I've got this great new health diet where I eat nothing but tomatoes. It's marvellous. What's so marvellous about that? Well, you see, every time I go in a supermarket, women keep picking me up and squeezing me. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, I have a symbol, Chris. What what is that? What is that symbol there? Remind, does that remind you of? I don't know. What is it? What is it? It reminds me of Thursday. Thursday? How do you get Thursday? Well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> 
to university, you know. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you a question, then. Where are the Andes? On the end of me wristies. <laughs> Lots of people go to islands for their holiday. I mean, every year, Harold Wilson goes to the Silly Isles. Aye, <laughs> and Larry Grayson, he goes to the Isle of Man. And what about you, Mr Enoch Powell? Where are you going? Where else? The Isle of Wight. <laughs> Now, talking about Commonwealth countries, I had a friend of mine last year, he was on Celebrity Squares, and he won a trip to the Upper Orinoco River. Where is he now? Well, he's up there now, trying to win one back. <laughs> yeah. God, it would have brightened it up a bit. It's not bad, is it? My goodness. Look at that. What's this here? What's this here? <laughs> Double pop and triple yellow lines? I'm sorry. No, officer, we're only going to be a couple of minutes. Would, would you like to come inside for a... What? What? A licensed greenhouse? A licensed oh, greenhouse, yes. I get into that. It's Good heavens. very wine. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Take a seat in the corner. We'll see you in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, just going away for a couple of minutes. See you on 321. Don't go too far away. Now, officer... <laughs>